Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove the headlights from a Mercedes C-Class. I'm going to remove it as well, the front glass, and polish it from inside. I already did this on the driver's side. I polished the glass both from inside and outside, and you can see the difference. The glass looks transparent and the lights are much more brighter. And if you compare to this one, which I haven't done yet, you can see how the surface has faded and the light is not so bright anymore. I used regular glass polish, nothing fancy, as well as a sponge. Now, how you can tell that there is need for polishing the glass from the interior? You can take some water on a paper towel and now you can make the surface wet. If there is no difference and the glass is not more transparent, then it's a clear sign that the interior is the one which is faded. And opposite, if you put the water on the surface and the glass becomes much clear and transparent, then you have to do the work on the exterior surface. So next step, I will have to remove the headlight. In theory, you will have to remove the front bumper, which can be a long process and time consuming, especially if you have parking sensors on. So I'm going to show you how I did. You don't have to follow the same process. If you want to remove the front bumper, you can do that. So here we go. We've got an 8 mm socket. There are two bolts which holds the headlight on. One is here and the second one is down here. You can actually see the headlight already moves. There is just one electric connector for the whole headlight. So you can see from the front you can press with your fingers on the tabs and with a screwdriver just press the connector out like that. Next, with a 10 mm socket, there are two bolts on this side, two bolts on the other side. Once these four bolts are out, you can remove this metal frame and pull it out of the way. Something like that. Now you have space to move the headlight in this direction and then you can pull it from this side. But before that, on the wheel fender, there is a plastic cover which needs to be removed. So with a 10 millimeter, undo these bolts. One here, one here, and one it's supposed to be down here, but is missing, so. Now down here, you can see this metal nut. This is the only thing left which holds the headlight on. You can basically use a crowbar. You can see the headlight comes almost out. So press with the crowbar and pull it out in the same time the heat will make it more flexible and it will come out from the bolt much easier. So now I can begin to wiggle out the headlight. So here we go, the headlights are out. Now on the headlight you will find this rubber gasket around the glass. So just press on these tabs and the gasket should come out. Now the fun part is to remove the glass. So for that, you're gonna use a propane gas torch. You have to be very careful to not have gasoline around you or anything inflammable. You will have to warm up this glue. There is a glue around the glass, which holds basically the glass on the headlight assembly. You can see, just go around with the torch. I already done this on the other headlight, so I know it will work. You have to take your time and be very patient with this. Now you can use some sort of plier and you can see how the glue will allow the plastic cover to separate. Now once that side is a little bit open, I can begin to work on this other side. You might want to keep this glue in there because you will have to place back this glass or the new one. It took me around six minutes to separate the glass from the headlight. It might take you a lot more, but this is the way to go. I believe this is much better than placing the headlight in an oven because you have control over how much you can heat up and where. All right, so from now I can begin to polish the interior.
All right. After some job, I believe it looks much better now. I still couldn't remove this side here. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is a spot here. Still looks much better. I clean it up. Now I can install it back on the main unit. Use the torch to warm up the glue. Now I'm gonna place back this rubber gasket. It just goes one way. Now the unit is ready to be installed. The installation is the reverse process, so I'm going to place back the headlight. So you just have to place this metal nut back in there. I can place the bolts and that will secure the headlight in position. Now the headlight is fixed. Now you can see it doesn't move from there. Not even when I press a lot on it. Thank you guys for watching. That's how it looks like right now. It's not perfect like new, but still it's much better than before. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, drive safe and I will see you soon.